I will be utilizing my gel press to create a quick and easy project to decorate an envelope to be utilized within your journaling efforts. It has kind of been my goal to overcome my fear of these envelopes and utilize them over the past four weeks. We have been working on the envelope prompt now for the entire month of December, and this will be our final envelope. At the end of this video, I'm going to share with you what we have done in week one, two, three, and four, and this is the fifth week of the envelope prompt for Two Old Crows Mixed Media. Let me introduce my channel. To get started, I've put a small amount of parchment paint on my gel press, spreading that thin with my brayer. And I have this piece of lace that I want to press that lace image into the gel plate. And I'm utilizing my brayer to run over the top of that to leave that image there that I can pull later with a second color. So once I have that completed, I'm going to set it aside to dry. While that's drying, I'm preparing the plate for a second image. And for this image, I will be utilizing an onion bag that I have saved out of my kitchen. So I'm trying to use items that everyone has to make this an easy and accessible project. Want to pull some of that excess paint out of the onion bag holes, if you will. And now I'll pull that bag off and I'll set that aside to dry. Now that the lace imprint has dried to the touch, spreading a small amount of raw umber, I put the amount of paint on the plate that I would put toothpaste on a toothbrush. It's the best way I can explain it. Putting my envelope down, and I'll put a sheet of paper over the top of that to keep my hands clean and pull the paint that is not uh, being picked up by that envelope. So now we have the raw umber with the parchment lace print on top of it. And I think that's going to make a very nice insert for a journal. We'll do the back side of that the same way as well. Now let's take this onion bag and pull that raw umber over the top of that print. Lay the envelope down. Make sure it is connected to the press with the either your hands or running the brayer over the top of it. And let's see how this envelope looks. So I'm liking that. I've also, if you notice, there's a little bit of orange that is being pulled that was on the plate when I ver very first began. So I have a little bit of orange in both. So now I'm just prepping the plate to do the back of the envelopes and we'll go through that same process once again. So I have the lace setting up top to dry, pulling the second um, onion bag in. And let's utilize that raw umber over the top of that lace impression. And we'll get the little tip of that envelope that I left white first. And now imprint the back. And there, front and back of one envelope, 
complete. So our lace impression on both sides of this envelope. And now we shall do the same thing with the, I call it the fishnet, but with the onion bag. Looks like a, the old fishnet stockings. So the raw umber. Lay the back side of that envelope down. And now both sides of both envelopes are complete. So let's move forward and determine how we're going to cover up that security portion on the back side of that flap and get that kind of covered to make this appear like it's a finished piece instead of just an envelope that we've printed, right? So I have two sheets of paper that I have just printed in the parchment. I just laid parchment down on my press and pulled that parchment. And I am cutting it to the size of the envelope right now. Just trimming that because I want it to be able to tuck down inside. And then our flap will be just that plain parchment color. So I'm going to tuck it in. And now that I have it tucked in, I will grab a glue bottle of whatever glue I have on my desk. Well, it looks like I'm going to use the, the um, handmade Mod Podge there. And we'll glue that into place and trim around the outside edge. Let's ink and make sure that we have any little edge fold inked up to just create that little extra bit of wear, aging, interest, whatever you prefer to call it. And there, I think that we are good to go. So we have the envelopes complete. And they are ready to be either paper clipped in or clipped in to, to our journals. So let's decorate the front of them. I just pulled over that painted, that piece of lace that is covered in paint, and I've decided that I am not going to waste that. I'm going to use that to decorate the front of these envelopes. So here is the painted piece. And lay it down on the front of the envelopes. Determine exactly where I want it placement wise. And I'm pulling in an unpainted piece of lace for the contrast. Doesn't that make a nice contrast? You have that parchment painted piece of lace, and then you have that bright ivory um, piece of it lace, or now that ivory looks very bright. So let's glue those into place. And to glue these down, I'm just using that glue and water mixture that I use all the time. I'm grabbing a button to put atop my little decoration there. Trying to decide which button will look best. And I think I've settled on that one.
Now that button really isn't going to look right unless I place a little bit of cheesecloth behind it, I think. So I'm going to put a little bit of cheesecloth behind it. I think that button looks better with a little cheesecloth behind it laying on top of that ivory lace. And now to complete it, I am going to put some thread through it. And I've just pulled some binding thread out in this um, kind of rusty color. Not exactly sure what they call this color, but I'm going to pull those threads through that button, tie that off in, in a little square knot, and then I will have the threads through the button so it looks like a sewn button. Pulling the glitter glue out to glue that cheesecloth in place, and then I'll put the button in place with a little glitter glue. And I think that completes that envelope. So let's get started on envelope number two. We still have some of that painted lace. So we'll lay that into place with a little bit of cheesecloth behind it this time. And the cheesecloth I've all coffee dyed or tea dyed. Using that glue and water mixture to lay that cheesecloth in place. And then I'll stick the lace right over the top of it and glue that into place as well. Now I have this little teeny tiny um, silver gem that I have put in the center of that. But that's going to change, so stick with me here for a moment. Because I have decided to fill these pockets. I'm going to pull out the fodder that I created in fodder school. And I have this journal that was also a fodder school project that I created that's falling apart um, completely. And I need to create a new fodder journal, if you will. But I'm going to start pulling some of those things out and putting them in, in other places. So here are some watercolor leaves that I created out of, of on watercolor paper with watercolor and just a pen. So I thought those would be great to tuck inside here. And as I began to look at that, I thought, well, wouldn't one of those look good on the front? So I pulled my little gem off and laid that leaf down. And, well, I haven't pulled the gem off yet, but I'm going to pull that gem off. There we go. And I'm going to ink around to cover up that white watercolor paper because I'm, I'm not wanting any white on this. We'll lay that down and then glue it into place. And I'll take that little tiny gem and put it right at the top of the stem. And I think that's a good placement for it. What, what do you think? So there we go. We have two envelopes completed. We're going to stuff them full of the fodder school fodder. And I also have just some little sheets of paper that are just the perfect size to fit down in an envelope. So I'm going to tuck that into this one. And let's put it into this journal 
that was made last week on Journal Making Saturday videos. So I'm gluing that into place. Here are the two envelopes that we created. This is the one with a lace imprint. This one is the fishnet or onion bag imprint with the fodder on top of it. There are the two together. This is how I glued it inside the journal. I glued it down so it would open up and I could access what was inside it. I put another piece of fodder next to it. And I also put three pieces of those leaves on the neighboring page. To recap what we've done, we created a journal out of an inner office envelope in week one. Week two, we created a journal out of two small envelopes. Week three, we did pockets out of two envelopes. Week four, we created an envelope out of watercolor paper. And we, here we are at week five of the envelope prompt, creating just a simple envelope to tuck inside your journal. I hope you have enjoyed this prompt of envelopes and will stop over at my Facebook page, Two Old Crows Mixed Media, to share the pictures of what you have done. I appreciate you being here. Thank you very much for subscribing to my channel. Please give me one of those thumbs up, and I always look forward to your comments. I shall say bye for now, and see you next month when I pull our new prompt.